for a time. So my name is Dr. Eve Angel Savage and I live here in Greenville, North Carolina. I'm also a social enterprise strategist, instructor, um, angel investment coach. I wear many, many hats and I teach people the skills of entrepreneurship. My role here today is just simply to tell you about the art of entrepreneurship and we're gonna, we're gonna live that in a real life experience. Everything that Dr. Ella shared here with you today was on point. Take those nuggets and apply them to your life as much as you can. There is no greater time than right now. The one thing you don't want to do is wait until you have to make this your choice, which has been the situation for many young men around the globe, and particularly the audiences that I um, have to deal with, and that is the audience of the ex-offender. Um, sometimes people will make decisions, and they make them very young, um, and they will continue on that plight. Some will change, some won't. Um, many will have to find another pathway for success. And so I decided a few years ago that I wanted to make a difference in the lives of all people to affirm human social value. And what that simply means is that everybody is somebody, and everybody is somebody. And with that said, I started out on this mission for a, a solution-focused entrepreneur program that works with the disenfranchised individuals in, around the globe. So I am going to just tap into an experience. We recently dropped our first magazine called Spoken Word, Hindsight 2020. Why is that significant? Anybody know what hindsight means? Louder. Seeing what's behind. Yeah. Understanding things after they have happened. And so for some people, they, they understand those things only after they have happened. They don't see or predict or um, can't see the trees beyond the, or the forest beyond, how does it go? The forest, the trees beyond the forest. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, in, in those cases, um, they have to make things happen for themselves. But in either case, to predict our future, we must create it. Whether you are going on the path of academics, whether you are exploring sports, whether you are exploring um, arts, no matter what it is, you have to create your best self. And I think you learned a lot of that through Dr. Ellis. So what we're going to talk about today is simply how this magazine came to fruition. It dropped. We, this young man is, uh, who owns this particular magazine works under my structure, under my leadership, um, and he is my son. He is a writer. Um, he has had some occurrences with the law. Um, however, he has, he has identified his skill sets so that he can develop a future for himself. Now, many of us can do that without having any run-ins with the law. I don't suggest you have run-ins with the law. You don't have to. You simply don't have to. There are rules, follow them. There are rules for everything, follow them, okay? So with that said, my son and I have been working together on identifying, initiating, and implementing this project so that he can have a prosperous future. So that began with the coaching. You know, like, what is it that you'd like to do? And I, we knew years ago that he just enjoyed writing. He loves music and he loves writing. He loves Tupac, he loves all the rap artists, he loves to just write poetry. I consider rap to be poetry, okay? Poetry is a form or a genre of writing. Um, I do not negate rap. They're artists, right? So we decided 
he decided on the name Hindsight 2020 because he understands now those things that happened to him. And he's making a go having understood those things. Okay? So, in long of it, he just, what was going to produce the best results for someone who um, loves to write? What was going to produce that, that best result? Either he was going to produce a book, or he was going to come up with something that would have streams of income. The goal for him is to develop streams of income. That's the art of entrepreneurship. Sales, find a product, solve a problem. Solve a problem, right? So he's solving a problem. He's providing a platform for artisans to be exposed to the world because this is a global magazine, right? So we worked together and we decided that this was going to be the pathway that he took. He needed to learn a lot. So we've been in business for four months, he has. Four months, just dropped his first magazine, and the first day it got more than 12,000 views just on Facebook, okay? But it was the art of developing the magazine that was key for him. The key was learning how to be consistent, how to, be, to deliver reciprocity, which means to give something without expecting something in return, how to be consistently send your message, to other people, how to brand yourself as an authority on something. He did all of that. Remember, remember where this all began. It began with identifying something that he loved to do, something that he was passionate about. How many of you have something that you're passionate about? Okay, so the lesson for, the lesson for you is to, if you have a pencil and some paper, I want you to at least try to take it, some little notes. You just may walk away with something great. I want you to take just a second and write down um, what you're passionate about. Something that you're passionate about. Something that you just love doing. I know one young man here in the audience, I know what he loves to do. And he just loves to dance. <laughs> And he's going to be a great artist. He's already a great artist. He already has a great and prosperous future in dance. And we're going to talk about how those things happen. If you would, go to the next slide. Hindsight 2020 is where is the name of the magazine. We decided to drop it with the ode to poetic history, since that is what he loves to do, write, be a poet. And so we branded it on history. Before we can do something, we got to go backwards, but we got to live forward, right? You got to go backwards to understand it, but you have to go forward to live it, right? Okay, remember that. So, Ode to poet, Poetic History. We talk about the poets and all those that came before him and why we now can, right? Had it not been for all those great pioneers of poetry, we would not know what poetry is, correct? Okay, so Ode to Poetic History. So you can go to the next slide. Uh, next uh, slide. All right, so as a result of dropping the magazine, we now have to have, we're going to launch him to the public. Um, and so next, in May, May 14th, we're going to be launching in Fayetteville. He does not live here, so we have people on the ground all over the globe taking pictures for the magazine, writing stories, and doing interviews. He has his team together, and I am a major part of that team. We are a family, and as a family, we have identified all of the skill sets that are needed to make this magazine happen. But it's all of, he's all about being the manager of this magazine, but he has a strong team. You have to have a strong team. So we're launching, May 14th, down in Fayetteville, and that's, from, that's the inside cover. We laid out this first design. As you see, the cover story, I'm his coach, and because of them, we can. Next slide. We're just gonna talk a little bit about the individuals who are here in this magazine and why we chose them. Um, to develop a magazine is not an easy process. Um, but like the gentleman, Dr. Ellis said, when you really want to do something, 
You have to connect yourself with the people who are already doing it, right? So we were just here four shy of four months identifying. Young man, please lift your head. That's rude. Lift, lift your head. Um, we are four months we were shy of, of getting this done. He's only been in business for four months. He's a solopreneur. He is a, an independent writer who decided he was going to build on this magazine. So we had to come up with content for this magazine, right? Again, connect yourself with somebody who's already doing it. If you want to be a magazine writer one day, you know what I suggest you do? Go sit in Barnes and Nobles and look through the magazines. Just look through the magazines. That's what we did. We looked through the magazines and decided layouts and what we want. The content is ours, but the layout, we had to learn what does a magazine look like? <laughs> right? And how do we make this happen? So we looked at magazines and we decided on the layout of the magazine. A lot of the people in the magazine are people that I know. And these are the arts. Remember I said the magazine is designed to be a, a resource to spoken word artists and artists, okay? Hindsight 2020. Artists consist of more than just spoken word. They are dancers who dance to music and they put their feeling and all of themselves into these songs, right? Right. Why do you dance? Right. Is it a form of expression for you? Okay. So is it a form of expression? The young lady right here is my daughter. She's a dancer, and she also dances at Couture Dance Academy where, what's your name again? Marquise. Marquise dances. And they just love to dance. They live in this studio four, five, if they can live here seven days a week, they would. But these are artists as well. This is my youngest daughter. Her name is Iyanla, and she is a ballerina. <laughs> All right, I guess that's what you would call her. She's learning to be. Next slide. All right, so to lay out a magazine and you're introducing it to the community, you're always gonna have an editorial section. So in that, he is telling all about the vision, all about why he's going into this. He's dedicating his purpose and his mission about what he intends to do with the magazine. And he thanks those who came before him. Next slide, this coach. What do we do? What do we do? How do we help people get there? Identify, I want you to take this away because this is important. Identify your passion, initiate, and implement. You can live an idea all your life, but if you never take action, then all it is is just a dream, right? Just like you go to school. You go to school and you decide on what you want to be in life, correct? Right. Um, but if you never take action to apply the things that you're learning, then it's still just a dream. It's still just the work you spend your parents' money on in your time, and you never did anything with it. So whatever you're doing, and identify, initiate, and implement action for change. Okay, so it's National Coaching Month, right? Great time to launch a magazine. We, I didn't think about all these things when we were doing it. It just all came together, right? Um, over at the Institute, we teach those classes. We teach people how to be entrepreneurs from the ground up. So we decided, let's put it in the magazine. Let's tell people what we're doing. Let's help everybody around the globe. It's distance education. They're online, you take them just like you would at a university. Next slide. All right, so we decided. The one thing about spreading the word about a magazine is you have to have influencers. You have to connect yourself with people who are, are influential, right? Like Dr. Ellis, like Dr. Ellis. All the young men that were photographed in his picture are going to get their pictures slammed across the globe in this magazine next month or next issue. Those who elected to take that picture with Dr. Ellis will be placed in this magazine on next month because they decided a photo op was a good thing. A photo op is really a good thing, okay? 
because you get connected. You're now, these the individuals who took those pictures are connected with a powerhouse. And that's exactly what he is, a powerhouse, okay? He can make things happen for young people like you. All right, so this is Brooklyn Dorset. She's a writer, always connecting. If he's talking about spoken word, he's got to be talking about artists and writers, then the content should be about that, right? Right. So we decided that the first feature, we get people to put their poetry in. Free. It's free. It's a way to connect. You like to write? Submit an article. Submit your poetry. You like to rap? It's poetry. Submit it. No cursing allowed. Okay? Submit it. We have opportunities for you to display your work, to become that true poet if that's something that you want to do. Next slide. All right, here he is. That's my son, Ryan. We did a photo shoot down on the water. One thing you want to do is always do it in excellence. So we have photo artists, we have photographers. My husband bought us all cameras. Major, major stuff right here, this Nikon. I can't tell you how much it costs, but it takes a mean picture, okay? So we took some photographs and we like to add little jargon, some of our favorite uh, quotes from artists or from um, powerhouses like Martin Luther King. Anybody that's significant has some meanings in him. One of his uh, favorite, which is on the cover, I don't know if you saw that, well, not the cover, but the inside cover, was from Tupac Shakur. And Tupac always said, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but the world lies, reality is real, dreams do come true. Reality was wrong, dreams do come true. That's Tupac Shakur. It was one of his favorites as he grew up. So we go around town and we capture the event. Be in position. If, if this is something that you want to do, be in position to do things just like the gentleman said. The, who's the young man that was here speak, speaking? Uh, who is the young man like to talk? Yes, <laughs> he's going to be speaking one day. I guarantee you, he enjoys talking. I enjoy talking. Speaking, <laughs> right? You love dancing? He's going to dance. Anybody else in here love to do something that somebody told you? Anybody ever had a parent tell you to be quiet to talk to another? Uh, don't take it. Don't listen. Listen. Do not suppress your dreams. Be respectful. But most likely, you are going to find yourself on a platform somewhere speaking to somebody because you have an ability to articulate and you enjoy the art of speaking. And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't walk away from your parents telling you to be quiet and talk too much. Be sure you understand that that's just a moment that they had. It was just a thought. Have another one, okay? <laughs> don't take it to heart because there are many people whose dreams get suppressed because of, a, because of something that was said to them. They take it to heart. But don't take it to heart. It was just a moment. I can't tell you how many times I might have said that to my children <laughs> because I just wasn't feeling it at the moment. All right, turn the page. I mean, the next slide, please. I'm sorry. So another artist, another form of art, saxophone. Anybody here like to play music? Yeah, I like it. All right, right? This young lady, she goes to church. No, not here. Cornelia. Cornelia. Her name is Tasha Vaughn. All these are community people. I found her. She had to be the world's best kept, Greenville's best kept secret. I tell you, this girl can blow that horn. And when I got her story, I decided to interview her. And her story, she learned by ear. She's never played a single note from a book. She learned by ear through the mentorship of someone who took a group of children to the side and decided she was going to give them and to make a deposit into the children. Well, Tasha took that seriously. And Tasha decided now, today, she is a saxophone artist who is independently contracting her services to all sorts of groups, all sorts of events, and she's doing her thing, right? It's a business for her. 
It's a side business for her. Yes, she works a full-time job, but it's an art that she loves and she can also make money off of. You can flip the page. It's not too much more. All right, so I capture other community things. I capture band. Isn't that art? Music, right? Be consistent. We're consistently sending the message in the magazine about arts, the band, okay? That was just a filler. You gotta have some fillers in the magazine, right? All right, the next page. This gentleman is out of Fayetteville. So next I introduce in the, in the magazine some events that are coming up, right? Uh, we're having the launch on the 14th of May. And four people here who are going to be um, in that, in that uh, launch are featured here because I wanted to do what? Give them exposure. If you have a talent and someone wants to interview you, please do the interview. You will never know where it's going to get you. It's like the gentleman said, be ready, <laughs> right? All of these people are ready. They were ready and willing to give me what it was I needed and had absolutely no idea that it would one day end up in a magazine. I interviewed Tasha, had to be over six months ago, just because I was putting her on the radio. Just because I wanted to help other entrepreneurs to progress. But when the magazine dropped, I found another source to repurpose that, another way to, to make her go public, right? So be ready. You can turn the page. Okay, so then we found some additional fillers. Another artist is going to be displayed down in Fayetteville. Next page. Uh, some advertising. Always key to a magazine. You've got to find people who are going to be willing to advertise. If you have a business, if you have an event, you can, you can target. Now, this is what my son really does. This is the part that he loves. He knows a lot of business owners. He knows a lot of people. So he can go and get someone to advertise. He can go around and take his display, his exhibit, and his book and tell them why. Why him and not someone else, right? Why they should advertise. Well, the result is first you have to have something that is expert driven. Something that looks good, feels good, and is good. And it is good, would you say? Clap your hands if you say the magazine is good. Yay! <laughs> okay, next slide. All right, so book reviews. Writers are artists too, right? We talk, if you're a poet, you're a writer, right? And a speaker. So, book reviews. If you have a book, a great place to advertise your books in a magazine. Get yourself in the right place. Have you ever, anybody ever wrote a book? No book writers? You wrote a book? You're not too young, though, because I'm about to show you a young lady who's rocking her crayon. All right, click. I'm an interview specialist, so I'm always looking for people to interview if you have a talent. If it's something that you want to talk to me about, something you want to, the world to know about, I'm an interview expert. Check me out. All right, somebody said, I asked if anyone in here was a writer, right? And he raised his hand. This young lady right here is the daughter of Diane and G. Todd Taylor. They are the owners of Taylor Publishing. She's six, six years old. She just turned seven, as a matter of fact. Her and her father wrote a book because she always used to read books about it. She loved being a princess. And she wondered why she didn't see princesses that looked like her. Well, she was discouraged, thinking that she could never be a princess because all the princesses that were displayed, they didn't look like her. So her and her father, this is very, very important that you get this. Her and her father went on a research exploration to find all of the princesses around the world that looked like her. And then they went and told the story. So she, she is now an author. And she's not just an Arthur, you guys. She's an international Arthur. 
She has been on every TV circuit you can name, and I would be surprised if I didn't see her on Oprah Dance, CNN, and all of the above. Because this young lady, as Pitta, has made Google go on by Because she took her dream, something that she was passionate about, and she put it in a book, and now she's an author of a children's book. That is, her name is me, and Morgan, Morgan Taylor is her name. Next slide, we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so another Arthur story. You can turn the slide. These are the things that are content within a magazine. You are interested in magazines, check us out. We'll teach you everything we know, okay? If you're interested in interviewing, Spoken word, poetry, writing will connect you with the right sources. This is the resource guide for us to help those who are interested in the arts to excel. Okay, another event that's coming up in our community that's going viral is, po is spoken word poetry with Rosa Gaia, who is, has this event once a month. If you want to connect with other artists in the community, Connect with her. She does this at the, the new um, facility in Winterville. Anybody know the name of that place? Where it used to be Zoo. Um, I can't call the name of it. What's it say up there? Yes, yeah, Sports Academy. Premier, Premier Sports Academy. That's the name of it. They do it there once a month. And it's a great event. If you, um, they even have young people. If you are a spoken word artist, or you have poetry, or you have something that you don't mind going for the public, this is a great opportunity to get in front of an audience and speak and, and do your poetry, okay? Great opportunity. All right, next slide. Okay, another artist, that's my daughter. Okay, hold on, I need to tell you about this picture right here. This picture right here are all the pictures of my daughter at Mrs. Scenarios um, when she was dancing on last year. But anybody recognize the eyes? Her eyes are on the front cover of the magazine. If you look at the magazine cover, we're going to go back to the very front cover in just a minute because I want you to see that. Her brother chose her eyes. Because hindsight is understanding things after they've happened. And he wanted her eyes to be represented on the front of that, that in his logo. So she, her eyes are the model that was used for the magazine. Let's go to the next slide. We're almost there. More entertainment, another poet from out of Atlanta. Um, advertisement, just more stuff that, that, that's good for a magazine. Next slide. I'm almost through. That's it? Next slide. Okay. So this, we end with this. And we end with this because this is a very, very important page right here. He's seen so much go on in his life. And so much has occurred. And my, his father and I have always supported him, no matter what. I, we, we, we love and support our children and have the greatest expectations for them that life can ever offer them. And we realized, too, that we were once children, realizing that, knowing that, there's sometimes children learn from experiences. And you have to experience the world for yourself. Hopefully, we've given you everything you need to empower you, that you will overcome and try. Um, that was the word he used, triumph over your situation, right? So he is now triumphing over his situations in life. And so this last page is simply uh, my husband's name of his business is Trust Denim. He did that on purpose. It was just a way of feeling trust in God. <laughs> he said Trust Denim as a corporate name. And he's telling his son to just keep walking. And his son, if you look on the back of his jacket, he it says it's not what I've done, it's what I've overcome. And we're going to end right there. Not what I've done, but what I have overcome. Be the best you that you can be. You can do anything that you want to be. Make it yours.
Thank you.